My name is Vicky and I'm part of the Active Creative team and I'm here to deliver your weekly TPAC session. TPAC stands for the Performing Arts Club and there are four elements to TPAC. Drama, music, movement and arts and crafts. And this week is Pirate Week! Ha ha! We're going to start with a game called Captain on Deck. So I am going to give you four different uh, instructions, four different moves of places that you need to run to when I say them. Okay, so we're going to do some dancing and when the music stops, I'm going to shout one of four things. If I shout port, do you know which side that is on a ship? Port is the same as left. So you have to run to the left if I shout left. Excellent. If I shout starboard, then you have to run to the right. So you've got port is left and starboard is right. So if I shout port, you have to run over here. And if I shout starboard, you have to run over there. Perfect. Well done. If I shout stern, that is the back of the boat. Sometimes stern means cross, but I don't mean be cross. I mean run to the back of the boat. So you have to get all the way up to the back, as far away as you can. And then if I shout bow, I don't mean one of these, beautiful as that is, the bow is the very, very front of the ship. So if I shout bow, you have to get to the front. But because this is drama, I thought we could do a big bow as well. So you have to run to the front and give me a big bow. Marvellous. So now you've got four different directions that you need to run in. Port, starboard, stern and bow and we're going to do a bow. So we're going to dance to the music and when the music stops I'm going to tell you where you need to go. Are you ready? Can you see your dancing? <laughs> Run to port! <gasps> That's over here! To your left! Your left, that's it! Good job! Everybody. Right, I'm going to give you some more instructions. So this time if I say captain on deck, you have to stand up nice and straight and you have to salute your captain wherever you are. That is captain on deck. Excellent. If I say scrub the deck, what do you think you need to do? I say scrub the deck. The deck is the floor of the ship. So if I say scrub the deck, ugh, you have to get right down onto the floor, that's it. And scrub, 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 clean the floor of the ship that means scrub the deck excellent uh, i'm going to give you another one it's climb the rigging the rigging are all the ropes that hold up all of the sails all of the different ropes that come off the ship off the masts they are the rigging and so when we climb the rigging you have to look it's like you're running up a ladder climb the rigging climb the rigging that's it excellent right let's add in those three to our directions from the floor are you ready job. Stern! That's it, up the back. Good job. Captain on deck! Nice and straight. Don't move. Excellent. Good job. Climb the rigging! That's it. Lift up those knees. Use your hands like you're climbing up a ladder really, really fast. Yeah, good job. Starboard! This way. That's it. Good job. Scrub the deck. That's it. Get down. And scrub the deck. That's it. That's it. All the way down. 
dead on the floor there. That's it, get all the way down as far as you can go. Good job. Okay, so you've got quite a lot. I'm gonna give you another two, I think you can cope with it. So this one is gonna be weigh anchor. When we weigh the anchor, we want the ship to stay still. So you're gonna pick up the really, really heavy anchor. It's a solid, big metal object, it's super heavy. I want to see in your face oh, how heavy it is. Oh, pick it up, and then we're gonna throw it over the side of the ship. Whoa! Good, excellent. So let me see you pick that up. Oh, it's really heavy, it's really heavy. And then throw it that way, whoa! Excellent, very good. So that, that's if I say weigh anchor. If I say man the lifeboats, you need to grab somebody else that's in your house, okay? Anybody else, they can come and be involved in this game. So if I shout man the lifeboats, you're gonna go and grab your grown up or your big sister or your big brother or whoever your um, grown up is that you're with just now. You're gonna go and grab them, sit them on the floor and you're gonna come and sit on their knee. So they are your lifeboat, okay? So it's a bit like row, row, row the boat but instead of facing each other, you're gonna sit in front of them on their knee. So if I shout, man the lifeboats, you have to go and grab that grown up, that bigger person, get them to sit down and then you're gonna sit on their knee, okay? So we're gonna add that one in. Are you ready? grown-ups you can join in as well that's it come and sit on there any perfect well done life starboard this way that's it good job well done that's it Oh, very good. Nice big bag. Stern! All the way up the back. Good job. We anchor! Whoa! Very nice. You see how heavy that was in your face. Good job, you guys. Good job, well done. 
Well done, lifeboats. You're doing a great job. Captain on deck. <gasps> Stay really still. Good. Well done, you guys. Great job, everybody. You're doing really, really well at listening to all those clear instructions and using your imagination as well. You're doing really excellent work. Good job. Right, different game now. This one is called Treasure Hunt. Okay, so I am going to give you some different things that you need to go and find. So I'm going to give you one minute to go and find something really, really shiny. Go! Okay, let me see, what have you got? What's really shiny? Very shiny. Nice, I like it. Good job. Okay, pop that down. So uh, you, now you need to find me something that is perfectly round. So something that is a to complete circle. Go and find something, go! Okay, let me see. Yes, yes, good idea. Have a look at it. Is it perfectly round? We're not going on any cheating, are we? Is it a little bit oval? It's got to be totally round. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's do another one on your treasure hunt. I need you to find me something that makes a really, really funny noise. <gasps> Off you go!
Okay, let me hear the funny noise. <laughs> Excellent. Does that noise make you laugh? Perfect, then it is a funny noise. Okay, let's see how you get on with this one. You have got one minute and I need you to find me something that when you hold it, it makes you really, really happy. Good luck with this one. Finding all those happy objects made you feel happy. They are excellent, well done. I'm gonna give you one last challenge, one last piece of treasure that you need to find. You need to go and find something that someone else gave to you. So it can't be something that you bought yourself. So go, go and find something that somebody else gave to you. Let's see. things fantastic what a fantastic pile of treasure good job everybody well done and I hope finding those things has really made you feel happy as well oh that's really good excellent okay so now that you've found all your treasure it's time to find out a little bit more about your pirate characters so I need you to have a little think what is your pirate name going to be what would be a good name for a pirate Think about what kind of pirate would you like to be? Are you going to be a nice pirate or are you going to be a scary pirate? So I need you to think up what your pirate name is and I need you to think of a pirate skill that you would have that you think you would be famous for. What would be your pirate skill? So what kind of thing are pirates good at? They're very good at climbing the rigging. Some of you were very good at that in our game, weren't you? Good at climbing the rigging. Some pirates are very good at sword fighting aren't they? Some pirates are very good at navigating. That means being able to look at the map and find out where they are. Are you good at navigating? Excellent. So have a think. What's your pirate name going to be and what's your pirate skill going to be? Have a think about those things. Now I'm going to tell you what my pirate name is. My pirate name is Ruby the Riddler and she is very good at giving people riddles. Are you very good at solving riddles? That's what we're gonna find out now. So I have got some pirate riddles for you. So I'm gonna ask you the riddle. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to have a think, and then I'm gonna tell you the answer. So I won't leave you hanging on too long, okay? That would be mean, wouldn't it? So here is my first riddle, okay? A word I know, six letters it contains, remove one letter and 12 remains. What is it? Tricky one. What do you think? 
if you need to pause this video and have a think, you can do. If you need to rewind it and listen to it again, you can do. In fact, I'll tell you it one more time, are you ready? A word I know, six letters it contains, remove one letter and 12 remains. Are you ready for the answer? If you're not ready for the answer yet, you can pause. But the answer is dozens. Dozens, because that's the word. It means 12, doesn't it? I like that riddle. Are you ready for the next one? Okay, here's your next riddle. What question can you never answer yes to? Pause the video if you need to, to have a little think. What do you think that answer might be? What question can you never answer yes to? Shall I tell you? The answer is, are you asleep yet? You can never say yes to that question, could you? Because you'd be asleep. <gasps> exactly. Right, good job, well done, pirates. Okay, you ready for another riddle? What is always in front of you, but can never be seen? Hmm, I like this one. What do you think? What is always in front of you but can never be seen? Pause if you're not ready to know the answer yet. The answer is the future. The future is always ahead of you, isn't it? But there's no way of knowing what it's gonna be. You can't see the future, can you? Or maybe you can, maybe that's your pirate power. Hmm. Right, let me give you another riddle. Are you ready for this one? I like this one as well. It's a bit piratey, this one. Where can you find cities, towns, shops and streets, but no people? Hmm. Shall I read that one more time? Where can you find cities, towns, shops and streets, but no people? Pause if you need a bit more time. The answer is a map. A map has all of those things, doesn't it? But they don't map out all of the people. No, exactly, but the map shows us where all the things are, just like treasure maps. Okay, another riddle for you. What can you catch but never throw? Yeah, I think you've got this one. Pause if you don't know, want the answer yet. The answer is a cold, a cold. You catch a cold, but you can't throw a cold, can you? <laughs> Next one, I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? And it's not a person. <laughs> That's your clue, it's not a person. I am tall when I'm young and I am short when I'm old. Are you ready for the answer? It's a candle, a candle. So when they're new, they're tall, aren't they? And then the more you use it, the older it gets, the shorter it gets, doesn't it? Okay, ready for your next one? What is so fragile? that saying its name breaks it. I really like that one. One more time. What is so fragile that saying its name breaks it? Are you ready for the answer? It's silence. Yeah, because you break a silence as soon as you say anything, don't you? I really like that one. I'm gonna give you one more riddle, are you ready? Just one more. What is easy to get into, but hard to get out of? And this is a good one for pirates as well. This is a really good one. One more time. What is easy to get into, but hard to get out of? Are you ready, pirates? The answer is trouble. <laughs> and lots of pirates get into trouble, don't they? That's it, easy to get into, but hard to get out of trouble. Well done, pirates, you're excellent at my riddles. We are gonna move on to our craft now today, and today we're going to make a treasure map. Now, what I'd really love you to do is to make a treasure map, sort of, of a room of your house, or, or your whole house, so that you can actually hide something and then make your treasure map a trail for someone else in your house to find that object. So I'm gonna show you how to make a treasure map and then it's up to you to hide the object and then design your treasure map to show where it is, okay? So you're going to need um, a plain piece of paper, just plain white piece of paper, some pens, 
and you're going to need um you're better to do this on a mat or something just because it gets a little bit messy um but if you've got something that you can put down on your kitchen table or something like that it needs to be something flat but something that's wipeable and then you need to get a tea bag and get it really really wet it doesn't have to be in hot water but you just need to get it wet with a little bit of water in the bottom and let that soak for a little bit that's what we're going to use to stain our plain white paper and make it look really old so the first thing we need to do is take your paper and you need to tear away the edges and um, to make it look a bit rough now we don't want just straight tears we want it to be a bit wibbly wobbly look nice and authentic and old yeah so not just a nice straight edge we want it all a bit wibbly wobbly all different textures that's it oh now see that's too straight Let's take a big chunk out of there there we go so you don't need to be too precious about it because we want it to look all rough like that now obviously how big you want your mat to be is totally up to you. I've just got a bit of A4 paper but you can have it uh, much bigger than that if you've got a bigger bit of paper available. There we go. Lovely. So that's now the shape of my treasure map. So it's nice and jagged around the edges. Then what I'm going to do is take my mat, put my paper on there and I'm going to take my tea bag which is really really wet now Give it a bit of a squeeze on the edge and then I'm just going to start basically painting the whole paper with my tea bag. Okay, so I'm just doing big strokes because again we don't want it to look nice and neat. Just want to get, now we don't want the paper to get really, really wet because it'll just fall apart. That's why you squeeze your tea bag. So this is, it's like painting. So we're not trying to get it totally wet just painting it all over okay once that side's painted we're gonna flip it over because it's still white on the other side and we'll paint that there you go now if your uh, tea bag's not wet enough you might see some streaks in it that's fine you can go back over go back over the streaks and if your paper starts to crumple up great because then you'll see those crumples as it dries as well, which looks really, really cool. You can do that on purpose if you want, crumple it up a bit first as well, and then uh, and then get it right. So now we need this to dry before we can do anything else. So I'm just gonna put it on a bit of um, kitchen roll. Lay my paper flat on it. And then I'm gonna go and pop it by the window and let it dry, but Here's one I made earlier. So you can let it dry and then once it's totally dry, then you can move on to the next thing. So again, you can crunch it up. You just don't want it to rip. So try not to overhandle it because you don't want it to rip. So this is what it'll look like when it's all dry. So you can see it's got that nice texture and here it's been all creased up. It's got nice lines in it. So that's exactly what we want. So then it's up to you to design your treasure map with whatever you're going to do. So if you're gonna do a treasure map of your whole house, for example, um, then you're either gonna need to draw quite small or you'll need a, a bigger treasure map. I think it might be a good idea to just do one room of your house. But I'm gonna do the room as if it's an island, because this is gonna be my treasure map. So I'm gonna draw out, and again, you don't want nice perfect lines. Okay. So this is going to be the room of my house, so that's why I've done it as a square. And then I'm going to start, actually now I'm going to take a bit of glue and do some waves at the edge, just some zigzaggy lines to show that that's the sea around the edge. And then I'm going to have a starting point, so I'm going to put a little green cross, well a little green shape, not a cross. That would be confusing because the X marks the spot. So I've got a little shape. So that is the door of, of my room. So that's where the people are going to start. And then I'm going to work out where I'm going to hide my treasure. So I'm going to hide it underneath the sofa in my room. So I'm going to do a big red cross 
where the treasure is going to be hidden in my room. Then I'm going to put some details round in my room. So like I said, mine's going to be under the sofa, but I am going to turn my sofa into a mountain. In fact, I'm going to make it a volcano. That'll be cool, won't it? This is super easy. You don't need to be detailed at all because it's a treasure map. So you just want nice strong lines. So that's where that's going to be. And then my TV is actually over here, but I'm going to draw that like it's a lake. Like a lake. And I've got a lamp next to my TV, so I'm going to make that a big tree. wants to be nice and cartoony this map yeah not detailed just lots of cartoons so in real life my sofa's there my tv's there my lamp is there and um, but i've drawn that like a, a lake in there and then what else is in my room i've got um, a table in the middle so maybe i'll do that as a little forest trees there we go which is right in the middle and then what else got my cupboard over there so let's make that a, a fallen tree like a big log okay so i've got all the points of my room but i've turned them into things that you'd find on the island and now I'm going to draw the map so this is the steps that the person needs to take to find the x marks the spot treasure now I don't want them to just walk there I want them to go on a, a big long walk all around the room so they've got to go all around here I'm just doing little dashes with my pen show where they've got to walk to get to the X. There we go. So they start here, come through the door, and then they'll have to go all the way around there, all the way around there, all the way around there to get to the X, which is going to be my volcano. So you can make this as detailed or not as you want, but because it's an old fashioned pirate map, everything just needs to be really, really nice, clear lines like that. Excellent. Have a great time making your treasure maps um, and fun with your family as well, trying to get them to uh, find it. And I'll see you guys next week. Well done, everybody.